Dear friends, a test is with you again. Today we will review the charts. If you have questions, please ask them in the comments to this video. You need to press the chart button in the main window in order to open the chart. The instrument manager opens and you see all instruments which you added in the favorites window. If you need the list of all instruments, you should open the All Instruments tab. You can find an instrument by its ticker or name. All instruments are split by markets. American and European futures, including the currency futures, which are analogs of the forex currency pairs. There are NYSE, NASDAQ and Amex exchanges. The list of instruments from these exchanges is not complete, and it will be expanded in the future. Then goes the Russian currency, futures and stock markets, and some crypto exchanges. European stocks have been added recently. If you want to add an instrument to the favorites, you need to press the asterisk beside the contract list. There is also a possibility to load the continuous contract. Futures are traded as contracts, and they have expiration dates. Some contracts expire every three months, and some every two months. It means that every contract has a specific date, on which all open trades will be forcibly closed by the exchange. If you load a specific contract, you will see trades in history of the specific contract only. If you need to see a long history of the instrument, for example a year and a half, you will need to load the continuous contract. This contract contains the chain of all previous liquid contracts. The contract changes automatically when the total volume of the next contract trades exceeds the current contract total volume. Changes in the continuous contract will take place the next day. The chart has a number of settings and menus. There is the upper menu, and if you expand the chart until clusters appear, you will see the left menu with the cluster settings. We will speak about cluster charts in our next video. The upper left menu has the instrument selection button. Then goes the list of available time frames and other frames, for example, delta, volume, range, renko, and so on. Each chart has default values beside. You can create your own period in the frame settings. You can change the final date below, and this date will be the last loaded date in the chart. You can also increase the history volume by unchecking this item and specifying the number of days. You should remember that only 7 days of history are available in the demo mode. However, you can set the final date 1 week earlier and 7 days of history. Thus, changing the final date, you will be able to study history week after week. Then we have the candle display modes. There are the following modes. Transparent, in the form of bars, a linear chart, cluster switch mode, and you can hide candles completely. Hiding candles could be useful when working with a TPO indicator, that is with a classical market profile. We will discuss it in the indicator review video. Then we have drawing objects. You can build lines, areas, trend lines and channels here. There are Fibonacci retracement levels and the tape with all statistical indicators of the selected range. There are a lot of other technical analysis and chart labeling elements. You can also open the fixed volume profile from here or the profile which you can build for any selected range in the chart. Clicking it and pressing the right mouse button, you get into the settings and are able to change the profile type and various filters. If you select it and press the control button, you will be able to drag it and clone profiles and other drawing object elements. The next menu contains indicators, which you can add from here to the chart. Double-click it and it will be added to the bottom menu and to the chart. We will speak about the indicators in more detail in another webinar. Then we have chart strategies. The trading strategies developed by you and their settings will be stored here. Then goes the crosshair selection where you can synchronize mouse movements in different charts choosing the global crosshair mode. The next menu item is templates. We have a possibility to save and load templates and snapshots here and also save and load template files. Snapshots are templates with expanded sets of elements in the chart, drawing objects and time frame. All this will be saved. 
a template preserves the indicator and color settings. Then goes the chart trader. It is required for trading, opening and closing trades and orders, account management and also has some other functions. We will speak about them in another video. Then we have the scale. This function allows compressing price levels and trading data. By default, one oil tick equals one cent. If we select the scale 10, one tick in the chart would be equal to 10 cents, and all volumes or delta or trades will be summed up inside these 10 cents. This function is convenient for volatile instruments or big time frames. For example, the Moscow exchange or crypto exchanges have many instruments with high volatility and the scale function makes it easier to analyze the profile or clusters. The profile will not be as broken as with scale 1. If you expand candles to cluster charts and do not see levels, you need to expand the chart vertically by dragging the price scale. Namely, this happens with volatile instruments or big time frames. For example, daily time frames and higher. Then goes the menu with the fast access to the smart tape and bid ask tape. Here you can press the paper clip icon to pin the window on top. The smart tape uses a task algorithm to display exchange trades and mark them using red and green colors. Aggressive sell orders are marked red, while aggressive buy orders are marked green. You can use this menu after opening the tape to link it with the historic section in the chart and check what sell and buy trades took place there. It is convenient to do it on small time frames, for example a 5 second chart. To remove selection, press escape, after which you can select another section in the chart. If you want to find trades of a certain volume or set a filter to discard some trades in the smart tape, you need to go to the Smart Tape settings, select the Filter tab and specify the minimum and maximum sizes in the cumulative trade fields. Now select a section in the chart and the tape will display the filtered out trades. Then goes the chart screenshot and its automatic upload to the Gyazo file sharing service. The screenshot will immediately open in the browser with a unique link. You can copy the link, save it or share with anyone. Then goes the window cloning. If you press it, a complete clone of the chart is created. You can combine charts and modules in one space with the help of the navigator. Select the place to which you want to add the charts. They are combined in one window. They could be dragged through the common space, compressed or added to another place in the navigator panel. Working layers go next. If you have chart sets, and insufficient number of monitors or free space, you can switch between layers and various chart groups. There are working layers in the main settings window. You open the menu and you can switch between layers from there. For example, let's select working layer 1 and open the euro chart here. Now we select layer 2 and open oil here. Now switching between the layers, we switch between these charts. Then we set up the charts. Before we discuss them, let's consider the chart context menu. Mouse over the chart and click the right mouse button. You can use this menu for posting pending orders at the price selected in the chart. You can also open a window with indicators, change the candle mode, drawing objects, new linked window, open templates or chart settings. There is also a function here for refreshing and loading the historic data. For example, there has been no internet connection for some time and online quotations haven't come. You press refresh the whole history and all candles with all executed trades in them will be loaded from the servers. Let's go to the chart settings. There are four tabs inside. The first one contains visual chart settings. You can change the background here. For example, make the background black, remove the grid and set the black color for axis and axis fonts. You can also increase the font size and change candle borders. If you change the candle mode to the bars, this menu allows you to control their color settings. And you can control the linear chart settings from here. 
You can also set parameters of the trading session beginning and end. There are other settings in the end. One of the important settings is automatic transformation of candles into clusters. Clusters appear when you expand candles. If you uncheck this item in the settings and start compressing or expanding the chart, candles will not appear. Instead, clusters will stay in the chart. You can learn other settings through tips, which appear when you select these settings. Description of those settings is also available in the knowledge base, the link to which you can find in the description to this video. Thank you for watching this video. Now you're acquainted with the chart settings and know what the menus contain. Our next video will contain detailed information about cluster charts in a test.